I am Dr. Sampurna Ghosh, ENT consultant in Medicover Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today our topic is on vertigo. So vertigo is spinning sensation. A large population suffers from these symptoms every year. In the developed countries, it has been shown that 15 to 30 percent of the population in the year sometimes suffer from vertigo. So when this comes, the patient gets absolutely anxious that what's happening because the whole room is moving, they're feeling a sense of imbalance. So it causes a lot of uh, distress, anxiety, loss of uh, daily activity and reduced quality of life. So I have oversimplified here the main two reasons for vertigo. Number one is peripheral. One fourth of the vertigo is from the inner ear or vestibule and the other major reason is central. There are other common causes like vitamin B12 deficiency, cervical spondylosis or simply because you are not sleeping well, if you are sleep deprived, you may feel dizzy. But the typical vertigo in the sense of spinning sensation, rotatory sensation can be categorized into these two, peripheral or central. So the role of ENT surgeon is to detect and treat the peripheral one and the role of neurologist is to address the central one. So as a patient, you can come to any one of these specialists or to a physician. A good physician will be able to do basic clinical examination, listen to your symptoms in detail and tell you that which category you are falling and refer you to the uh, required specialty. Among the peripheral causes, the most common cause is BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo from the very name you can understand benign means which is not serious at all paroxysmal means which comes suddenly and which vanishes suddenly peripheral positional vertigo positional vertigo means when you change the position the patient tells me when i lie down on the bed or when midnight i want to go to washroom i get up suddenly i feel everything is spinning but it stays only for few seconds to one minute, then everything slowly settles down. This is typical of PPPV, easily treatable by common medicine and mainly exercise, vestibular rehabilitation exercise. The other common cause is vestibular neuritis. Some kind of viral infection can trigger this. The nerve which carries the balance sensation from inner ear to brain gets irritated and you get absolutely dizzy, nausea, vomiting, not able to get up from the bed. This is treatable by medicine as well. A lot of people come to hospital emergency with this kind of symptom and it is the job of the emergency doctor to differentiate whether it is vestibular neuritis or whether it is stroke affecting the cerebellum. The other diseases like Meniere's disease which also causes peripheral vertigo but it will be almost always accompanied by hearing impairment, fluctuating hearing loss, sense of heaviness in the ear, tinnitus which means abnormal sound in the ear along with vertigo then we think probably it can be Meniere's disease. So there are a lot of investigations, tests like MRI brain, like vestibular assessment, ENG, VNG, ECOG-G. These all help uh, the clinician to reach the final diagnosis and then the treatment should be given targetedly. So a BPPV patient will not improve with the medicine given for many years. Similarly, a central pathology patient will show no effect if we keep on giving medicines for here. So the correct diagnosis, timely intervention, right treatment can absolutely cure vertigo. Thank you.